So I'm here with Rob Smith from Care London and we're looking at how an embryo develops. So Rob, what are we doing here now? So Zita, what we're doing now is we've taken that egg we've just injected, we've placed it into a time-lapse incubator and now we're going to monitor its development. We're going to see if it fertilises and we're going to see how the embryo develops. So this is the egg sitting here that we've just injected. Using the time-lapse imaging, we can move ahead and we can see if the egg fertilises and we know that by the presence of these two dimples just here. This refers to mum's DNA and dad's DNA. As the egg develops, these fuse together and disappear as it's done there. This signifies the start of embryo development and successful fertilisation, which follows quickly by the development of that egg into a two-cell embryo. So this is where life now begins. Yeah, fascinating, isn't it? The embryo will now carry on developing. It will keep on dividing. It will go from a two-cell embryo into a four-cell embryo, which it's done there. Then it will start dividing quite quickly. It will go from the four-cell stage through to the eight-cell stage, which it's done there. In terms of time, we're now on to day three of treatments. We're 48 hours now on from when we injected the eggs, but we're managing to speed it up very quickly using this time-lapse technology. So the embryo carries on developing. All of those cells will fuse together as it's doing just and there. And there's hundreds of cells there now. There's probably about 30 to 60 okay. at the moment. This, this embryo is now called a morula, and as it's developing now, it's starting the transition to a blastocyst. We know when the blastocyst starts developing, because all of these cells start pumping fluid into the middle of the cavity of this embryo. And what it does is it blows up like a balloon, which it will start doing now. So it'll start expanding as it's doing that, and it will grow and grow and grow. Now what we can see is the first stages of the cell starting to differentiate. We have this big group of cells developing here, which is called the inner cell mass. This is the baby. This is where the baby's gonna come from if this embryo implants successfully. The rest of the cells around here will support the rest of the pregnancy. This will form the placenta and the sac which the baby will develop in. So we carry on letting it develop there until it's right at that stage. Now it's ready to go back into mum, okay? So Rob, this is amazing, it's reached blastocyst. Is this now going to make a baby? See, so this is a very top quality blastocyst. However, not every top quality blastocyst will make a baby. This is because there are so many other factors now involved that when we put this embryo back, will play into, is this actually going to implant? Will it make a baby? Now, it depends how old this patient was. Um, if they were in their um, mid-30s, it's probably about a 60% chance this would make a baby, but there's still a 40% chance it would not. Why? So many factors. There could be chromosomal problems um, with this embryo. There could be problems with the implantation due to the endometrium of the patient. There could be some unknown factors why it's not going to work. However, we don't know. We can only try our best to get these sort of quality embryos, put them back and see if it will actually implant and form a pregnancy. Yeah.